Hey, welcome to Adventure Fun, guys. We got all these Yodas down below. We had Series 1. Now we got Series 2. And we want to go through all the ones that we could collect up until this point that we could find on the child. Let's get started. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to start... Oh, this is so much stuff. Oh, ah! squeeze. Okay, we're going to go down there. Look at that head. That's a big, huge male. That's a noggin. It's like he's got his own planetary system. He could orbit around that head. And hey, look at that. You even got the little Yoda pencil topper or topper pan. And it comes with the pan. Oh, cool. Isn't that cool? So when you're in skill and you're like doing your homework and stuff, yeah, you can like, I'm going to do so good on this test because I got baby Yoda. Yay. That's fun to do your score when you have a little bit of help to choose the good side and don't cheat. Okay, so what I found out on the Disney website, shopdisney.com, they said, hey, it's called The Child, but affectionately referred to as Baby Yoda. So, hey, it's your flavor, whatever you want to go with. Okay, so what we got here basically is I got a collection of all the Yodas that I could. I mean, hey, we got our hot cocoa mug. So he's there to keep you warm in those cold, brisky days. And there you go on the back, Mandalorian The Child. <sighs> baby Yoda. So I even got the speeder here with the Mandalorian and he looks cute. I mean, you can see on the back, there's the box, but actually let's go ahead and open them up and take a look inside. Wow. That's like everything there, but here he is. There's our little baby Yoda. So you got it from the smallest, or as we did in the first video on The Mandalorian, The Child, we got him in the Black Series, and he was tiny. So, oh, he's cute. He's got his ball right there, but he's so tiny. Oh, and he's got his, um, the pram, and oh, look at that. It actually, like, kind of closes a little bit. That's kind of cool. Not completely, uh, just a little, a speeder shield, so you can put it down, you and then you can lift it up, ah, and now we're all there. Oh, that's cute. Oh, and don't forget Mando. Oh, okay. There we go. Makes look like our little baby yogurt is hovering. You know, he's a hovering. He's a doting dad. Oh, and he's got his jet pack. Oh, yeah, his cape does come off. So if you want to put the jet pack on, it does come off. There we go. And then you can put his jet pack on. That's so cool. Remember, he was learning how to fly. Like Peter Pan. I can fly, I can fly, I can fly. Um, he was having some problems there, but hey, he got the bad guy downed out, but not completely out, so he failed in his mission. Well, that's why we got more Mando series to find out how he's going to succeed and what happens with that bad guy with the dark saber. Hey, teaser alert. We got the dark saber. Woo! He's got his tuning fork. You know, before he actually figured out how to use this, I mean, he'd just take his hands and just slap it. Boing! And point it right at it. Just, ah! Okay, so here we go. We got the bullet. We put it in there. And then we just have to hit the button right here. Is that it? Camera mom is shielding her eyes. Good move, mom. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Didn't shoot that far, but still. Hey, that's cool. And away he goes. Awesome. Okay, maybe we should part these right here because I want to show you the other, one of the most smallest baby Yodas I think I've ever found. And well, I see I had to put them in my bag because all these parts are so tiny. And I actually, there you go. It's a Lego baby Yoda. And it came with, you know, the Stormtrooper, uh, the Mandalorian, and there's IG-11. And here's the ship that he came with. So guess what I had to do, guys? I had to buy the ship to get the Baby Yoda. Now, guys, put in the comments, is that the smallest Baby Yoda you've ever seen? <laughs> this ship was awesome to build. And you can actually put him in here and take off the top and put Mando in there. Super awesome. And then Baby Yoda at the controls. And it's awesome. Just a quick uh, look-see. You can actually open up the sides, well, the back. Oh, and then you get a blast. Oh, really, you gotta have fun, you get a blast. Super sweet. I love those little bullets that shoot out. Okay, guys, I know it's about Yoda, but man, I'm having so much fun with these toys. And this is how you go ahead and just lock and load, people. And we put his long bullets back in there. And then he actually has a storage here on his spaceship, the Razor Crest. And so, look, you got the guns here. And then you can open those up. And look at that. You can store more big torpedoes there. Or Mando can come out and take a nap. Or we get the other dude, his Grief Karga. Now, Grief Karga can go on the cargo, the spaceship here. And you can pull that off. 
put him inside. Oh, good grief, Karga. Look how he fits right in there. Oh, he's so comfy. So if Mandel's going down, he just gets in his little getaway pod and just escapes where everybody's like destroyed. Anyways, you can, you know, create your own scenarios, which is pretty sweet. So next, let's go ahead and do the series two, the bounty collection. Now we already did series one. And you wanna watch my video on that so you can see uh, the difference. You come out with a total of six. And on the front, the numbers, it's got seven through 12. So you can see in the lower left-hand corner, it's got 12, right? So you know exactly which one it is that you're looking at. And you can see on the sides, that side seven eight nine and we got him right here if you look seven eight nine he's got the fire you flip on the other side ten eleven twelve so let's go ahead and take a look at these cuties here okay okay there we go i uh, got him in his box uh looks like we'll have to tear the box he's glued in oh yeah he's glued in good wow all right well hey this is one of the things you just have to tear open the box and what are you gonna do Oh, there we go. Anything special on these little instructions here? Don't swallow, don't eat, don't stare at him too long, get into his gaze and become hypnotized, and then you'll be sitting there babbling. Baby Yoda, baby Yoda, baby Yoda. He comes out, oh, he's got his knapsack. Now remember, the stormtrooper put him in his knapsack, picked him up, threw him in the knapsack, and bonked him over the head. Naughty stormtrooper. If I was yogurt, man, I would just give him one of them, mm -hmm, and then toss him around like a rag doll. <laughs> You know, I'll say in series two here, series one, they didn't have many puppy eyes like he does now, but in almost every single one that I can see, he's got all the puppy, they, they focused on his eyes. Who can say no to these eyes? He's got Betty Davis eyes. Okay. All right, now <laughs> he's got his naughty face. You see that? He's got his hand on the red button, the nuclear button. He's ready to blow up everything. And he's just smiling going, eh, eh, you can't thought me. Like a naughty child. You go to your pram. He's got that look like, you can't stop me. You can't stop me in time. And if he wanted to, he didn't have to get close to it. Why is he being so lazy? He's got the force. He could be on the other side of the ship and just go and push the button. I'm telling you, he's got a lot of things to learn. Oh, cool. Man, this is where he's under pressure. Pressing down on him. Pressing down on them. No matter small, under pressure. He's just like, oh! I mean, and it just wears him out. He's got to eat a toad after that. Or one-eyed frog. You know what, they ought to have a packet of dried frog legs so he can hurry and just in a little bit of water and boom, he feels good. Yeah, that's where he gets his power, you know, it's those frogs. <laughs> the next one, he's just sucking on that little necklace that Mando gave him. Okay. There he is in his pram, just happy, just the wind through his ears, going down, cruising with his dad. Or his foster dad. I mean, it'd be kind of sad to find out. Maybe he was uh, orphaned, you know? But this is an adventure fun, talking about sad moments. But he's riding, he's got the wind through his ears, he's happy, he's doing good. And look at that. Every single one except for this one, he looks so happy with his big puppy eyes. <laughs> neener, 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 you can't stop me from blowing this up. Pushing this button. It reminds me of Tiny Toons. I pushed a button. No, I pushed a button. Elevator go up. Elevator go down. I pushed a button. And that's what he's doing. He's like little plucky. Okay, quick guys. What's he sitting in? This is what happens when you take over one of those bad, mean stormtroopers. It's like you go ahead and you turn their helmet upside down. You take a bath. Ah, guess what, guys? I have to go undercover because he's wanted. I mean, this is a cool shirt. I'm glad I got it. You know, just so many fun things with the child. Guys, put in the comments below which one's your favorite one. I think mine is, uh, he's just so mischievous. You don't touch that button. If you touch that button, you won't get a one-eyed frog. <laughs> you'll get a two-eyed frog and you'll like it. I like number eight. I think he's the funnest here out of all of them. Although with his little puppy eyes, it's hard to tell. Okay, next we got the Funko Pop number 378. In fact, you can see on the back for that collection there, all the different ones you can collect. So this is with a child with the cup. Get them with the cup, and if you don't get them with the cup, then you get them with a, a toad in the hole. And oh, then the other one is just a Walmart exclusive, so you know, make sure you hit Walmart. So parents that make great Christmas stocking stuffers, I think, uh, at least they're pretty cool, you know, how to be on Christmas morning instead of actually having to unwrap it. You see this guy sticking his, his little cute head like this one outside the Christmas stocking. 
Okay, let's open up this one first. And so we got 379, 378, and 385. And so we're trying to collect them all. We're trying to get the biggest Yoda collection in the world. Do we have it? I don't know. Maybe if you find somebody else who has a bigger collection, um, don't let me know. Yeah, camera mom's like, don't let them know because then you just got to go to these stores and buy them. It's like, you guys got to get them right when they first come out because then the prices are reasonable. Then after that, you get these people who are scalping. It's like $800 just to have a cute face. This size of a guy. Oh, there you go. He's a bobblehead, 379. And you know why he's bobbling? Because that frog's just trying to get out of his mouth. He's trying to hold it still. What a digestive system. Swallowing that thing whole for his size? That whining frog looked pretty big to me. My favorite part is when the kids went, eh. He just <laughs> spat it out. Oh, I guess they're all bobble heads. He's shaking his head because his cup of Joe's too hot. His cup of soup. He just <laughs> exclusive. Oh, yep. I can see him shaking his head now. And he's using the force. So there we go. One, two, three little cuties. Three little baby Yodas sitting in the bed. A big bad stormtrooper came and bonked him on his head. No more stormtroopers bonking on the heads. Little stormtrooper, I don't want to see you picking up the Yodas and bash him on the head. I mean, there's just so many things you can go with this. Hey, that was another AD, AD moment, an AD dad moment. Hey guys, you know what? All oh, this is just getting me so hungry. Hey, we got the Yoda cereal. <laughs> Where's my bowl? And then I gotta wake up and, and start the day off right with Yoda cereal. And look, look on the back. Oh, is he cute? And what is that on the front? He's got corn puffs, and I guess that's his green head. We're gonna eat Yoda heads? Ah, oh, well. well. We better take a look at the ingredients just to find out what we're eating. <laughs> Look at the sugars. That's not healthy. I thought he was a good guy. And now he's promoting all the sugar. I don't know. Let's just see how much I tremble and shake after eating a bowl full of this. Oh. BHT packaged fresh. Yay! Look at all that. Oh, I won. I won. I got two baby Yoda heads stuck together. And my prize is a mouthful of yum. That's actually good for a marshmallow. And you got your corn puffs. So guys, take a look at that. Go ahead and have some. You guys gonna wake up and have your own manda cereal? You know, be oh, what is this? Ah. <laughs> Pour some milk in that. <laughs> to be a man, you gotta start with your mando day of breakfast. Go Johnny, grow up and be a man. Be a Mandalorian, eat your mando cereal. Okay guys, we're gonna call it now. Mandatory Mando Mondays, you eat your mando cereal. You gotta grow up and get your, well it's got some vitamins in there. Yeah, a lot of sugar, but you know. A spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. You know, there's some healthy stuff in here. Corn. Or just throw some broccoli in there. Hey, that's green. Everybody's going green. Guys, don't forget, if you're ever in trouble, he's gonna help you. Okay, our next one is the Star Wars, the child with a hover pram. So he looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take him out of his box. It's a Disney special. Oh, that's cool. He comes in a gold box. Pretty sweet. Solid gold. Oh, wow. He's really nice wrapped in plastic. You can keep the plastic box and put him back in there for, uh, you know, keep the dust off of him. There's some plastic. His head moves. I was going to say he's a bobblehead, but okay. We'll take a look at that. You can see right here. The child. Okay, I don't think anything moves. Yeah, his eyes are huge, bigger than normal. You really get the cuteness on his eyes and they dilate his eyes. <laughs> it's like he puts eye drops in there to make him look extra cute. It's like it wants to bobble, but it's not. It won't because of the pram there. But that's a cool looking pram. I mean, it's been scuffed up and stuff. Original scuffs from the movie. Next, let's go to the next Funko Pop here. You know, it's interesting here with the Funko 390, and it's the Mandalorian with Child where he's just walking along, and he's got the pram. I mean, this one's a cool looking one, but if you look at the back, you see, if you, you know, you wind the video, and we looked at the back of the other smaller Funko Pops we had here, the bobbleheads, it's the same stuff you can collect. They don't show him as part of the collection. So, you know, you gotta keep your eyes peeled. If you're looking at this going, oh, that's all you have to collect. Well, no, they're coming up with uh, Funko Pops that have, a, well, the twosome here together, separated on a nice little platform of solid rock. And there's your background right there. Whoa, oh, he's a bobblehead now. And look, he's a bobblehead. Oh, does his head move? No, it's it's frozen there. Baby Yoda, there's his pram. What does it say at the front? Oh, it's got Star Wars, okay. Cool, um, the bottom, just a smooth piece of plastic there. This looks pretty cool. I mean, I love the rock. That nice desert scene here.
Oh, and guys, it got this cool looking magnet. Child on board. Yeah, slap that on the, the spaceship here. So nobody blasts him. Hey, he's got a child on board, stop! But that's pretty cool, it's a magnet, so you guys can put that right on your car. The only problem is, is that if you put it on the outside, somebody go, hey, that's cool, and just take it right off. And you probably want to put it on the inside. Still pretty cool, I like that. And then we got another little Disney, a Star Wars, a little cutie, fuzzy. Oh, he's so nice. You just want to give him scrubs because he feels so good up there. He's bald, but he's a fuzzy bald. A little bit of fuzz. He's growing his hair out, but these guys are never supposed to grow hair. I mean, you saw Yoda. He didn't have much there. Just a little peach fuzz up the end. And his eyes. And, you know, that's it. Just all sewn into one here with the bottom. And you can see his hands. For all you guys out there that left comments about saying, hey, you didn't get all the Yodas, you didn't get the Build-A-Bear, and I'm like, we built the bear. Seriously, guys, we had to go do it. And it's cool, I'll admit. And you know what? He may not look as cute with the eyes and things. And he's got more like frumpy, like he reminds me of a bulldog. With all his wrinkles. <laughs> he got too many wrinkles. But the good news is, is he's really soft and fuzzy. He's a cuddler, oh, that Yoda. Oh. Oh, he's so squishy good. And then you've got uh, his one-eyed frog in this cup, so he can just slurp him at any time. And in fact, guess what? We put in a little sound in him, little Baby Yoda sounds by pushing the button here. Let's see if I can get it close. <laughs> Oops, he just came at the end. I thought he was done. He's like, yeah. Oh, oh, well, he needs a little burping. Burr, he's burped up the entire frog. He had a sore tummy, you know. He's supposed to eat green frogs, not blue ones. You know, I will say with the Build-A-Bear, it makes it fun because even though he's the bulldog of all Yodas, he's still super soft and fuzzy and he's got the sounds. You can go ahead and put it in there and it's cute. You can squeeze him at night. Uh, I think he still adorbs. And then, you know, they zip tied him here, the frogs, so you don't lose them. So you can put him back in the cup because, you know, that can be easily lost. Oh, and then to prove that it's a Build-A-Bear, not a knockoff, Baby Yogurt. Ah, uh, he was born. It's his full name, Baby Yoda. Yeah, camera mom just pointed out that it's Baby with two Bs. Caleb wanted to spell it with two Bs, even though he knew it didn't. Anyway, it's Babby. Hey, Babs. Oh, wow. Now we're getting bigger Funko Pops. I mean, look at that melon. Uh, that's huge. And so now we're at Funko Pop 380. And again, if you look on the back, you got the same that you can collect, but it shows nothing about uh, this Funko Pop right here, where they're out in the desert. And this Funko Pop with the big, huge noggin. So again, you guys just have to keep a lookout. These are the, the unusual with the big head, which leads me to ask the question, how many of these am I missing? Because if I saw them on the back that they had others, I'd get them. Okay, guys, he's just too shiny inside. We actually pull him out, and because of all the studio lights we have, it just like pew, everywhere. So we thought we'd just take him outside and do the unboxing outside. Hey, it's in his element. He's an outside kind of dude anyways, right? So let's go ahead and open him up. That is pure shiny. See what I'm talking about, guys? You can probably see camera mom from this angle. I mean, it's reflecting and shining everywhere. I just, oh, I look so good. <laughs> oh man, guys, look at that. It is totally shiny. And there's little baby Yoda. Gotta tell you guys, he's super cute. And there's his tuning fork. This is one of the coolest Funko Pops we've ever gotten. Just that shiny helmet makes it so worthwhile. And there's the back. Oh, you could totally see me. And he's a bobblehead. That's cool. <laughs> Okay guys, now for the biggest Yoda that I've seen. So, well, okay, maybe he's not the biggest Yoda. He's the biggest Yoda, but camera mom likes him. He just, eh, he is kind of cute, I'll admit. I don't know, guys, put in the comments, do you like more the uh, Bulldog Build-A-Bear or do you like the big Yoda? He's kind of got a cute little face. Doesn't have as much definition. He's got too much definition. He's the biggest one. I was gonna say, hey, he's the biggest one, but no, here's the biggest one. Okay, so guys, let's take a look at the front here. You can recreate your favorite scenes. And look, with this pendant, it says you can wear the pendant too. Yes, that'll be super sweet. And then on the back, shows you the contents, what you're getting. And then it says, as one of the most feared bounty hunters in the galaxy, the Mandalorian never expected to be shielding this 50 year old child from his rivals and enemies. Now you can protect this lovable little creature just like the Mandalorian does. Aw, it's so cute. And he does look cute, except when he's eating a toad, a toad in the hole. Let's just go ahead and open it up. He's hoge. Oh, he's got so cute. And oh, you know what? He's zip tied to the back of the box. So parents, if you're gonna give this to your kids for Christmas, I recommend that you purchase the Adventure Fun wire cutters because they're only available at Adventure Fun. <laughs> so it makes it easier. I, everybody ought to have this, you know, for Nerf guns and things. You know, the toy industry loves their zip ties, but hey, with the single snip, oh, there we go. We got the other tape here that we can just pull that off. 
Let's get this tape off. Looks like they got little zip ties. Here, ball out. Ah, the all-seeing eye. It's a shift, you know, when he's driving. <laughs> Loves his little ball. Oh, look at that. There you go. So you're not totally left alone when you pull him out of the box. You get a picture of the Mandalorian and his ship. Oh, man. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, that necklace. Oh, look. It looks like they got it uh, attached to his jacket there. So we'll just give it a snip. It's not solid metal. It's just a piece of plastic. He's got those cute eyes. Um, let's see, let's take a look. Oh, he's just got, you know, no legs or anything like that. Oh, he's got that uh, gravel bottom there. So it kind of hopefully he can stand up by himself if I just, yes, he can. And then he's got his cup. Well, is it something he can actually hold? I don't know if his um, hands can actually grip it, but maybe it's just something for him. And there's your two-eyed frog. And I don't know if he can actually hold the ball. No, it's just something that goes with them, you know, just artifacts that he can't hold. His hands can't grip anything, but just part of the uh, decor. You know what? I'm going to do a quick comparison. If you haven't watched my first video on the Child of the Mandalorian of all the products we, that we collected, including the first series of the Bounty Collection, um, go ahead and watch that. But they have the same size. They look the same. Let me take a look. No, he's got that same smirky smile. I think they're just the same. You can either get one in the pram here, or you can get one with his little uh, necklace. Well, let's take a look at that necklace. So let's see if we can take his little necklace off. Oh, it just snaps right off. Okay, so this necklace, I got a big neck. And it's cool because you can see right on the back, you just have to go ahead and push it together and pull it apart. So let's see. Oh, it's a choker. It's not a necklace, it's a choker. Um, it barely fits my neck. So ladies, it's for you. I mean, does it look good? <laughs> Guys, it reminds me when you have to wear ties and stuff. It's like, oh, it makes you feel like a man when I can do that. That's cool. And I didn't break it, it just ripped off. If it's not too much, we can probably shorten it and have it as a little bracelet. Hey, guess what, guys? By the way, speaking of bracelets, right there, I got my own. In fact, I'll just go ahead and pull it off. And there's an inscription on it. And it's in whatever language they speak, Mandalorian sneeze. And then you've got the little child there. And they got the different sizes. Just measure your wrist. And let's go ahead and turn it over. Snap it right on. And then look at this. Do or not do, there is no try. You're not supposed to end that with an inflection because it sounds like he's asking it instead of stating it. This is actually just a little journal that you can go ahead and keep track of everything you do day in and day out. But he was so cute I had to get him. And so, you know, I'll just get in here and write. Day one, second video, Mandalorian the Child. Got a subscriber. All right. The last couple of things I want to show you is this cool guy right here. Oh my goodness, this is super cool. Now this is a nightlight. And when I saw this, I said I had to get it because it's gonna have a 3D effect and to do this, we're gonna turn off the lights. But before you do that, you got the remote control with the different colors you can shine on. And then also in front of it, you can just tap on that. It's a sensitive area that when you tap on it, it'll light up. Now I'll just go ahead and tap it. And it's changing different colors. You can actually set the colors on the remote and say you just wanna see green or you can have it just transition in and out really smooth or you can have it just kind of dancing. And then in order to turn it off, you just hold it down for just three seconds and it turns off. And then if you just wanna to toggle through, you just hit tap, tap, tap and it toggles through all the different colors. I'll just hit it here. Oh man, look at that transition from all the different colors. That is so awesome. So let's go ahead, let's take a look at a few of the other transitions. Yay! You put that in your window. It's like, hey, Merry Christmas, because you know, you're giving away a ball. He's showing you, hey, here, have a ball. And you can go ahead and turn it up and have it really bright. Maybe it's just one of those night lights that you want in the kitchen and you want super bright so you can see it enough because your kitchen's huge. Or if it's in the bedroom, go ahead and turn down the brightness, choose a warm color, and have a good night's sleep. Okay guys, uh, you think that would complete the collection, and it does for our Baby Yoda, but we got it, the Mandalorian Darksaber. Now it's got nothing to do with Baby Yoda, at least not that I know of yet, unless we look at season two. It is dark, it's got something to do with the Mandalorian. Now we've got pictures on the side from the cartoon animated version of the Star Wars. You can see the Darksaber there. And then it says on the front, it's the ancient Mandalorian Saber. And then on the back, you can see up at the top, you can swing for battle FX, and then down below, hold button for lightning FX. So, hey, I just got a little bit of a trigger finger, at least for a lightsaber, because we've got a lot of lightsabers. If you watch my other videos, guys, you can watch it on the child. We showed you those lightsabers. They're pretty cool. So let's go ahead and open it up. So parents, if you don't want to spend the, you know, a couple of hundred bucks going to Disneyland when they open up, or, you know, go to Disney World and create your own lightsabers, or buy them online, hey, this is a great kid's toy introduction to the lightsabers out of all of them. From what I can see, this will save you some dough and still have some fun. Uh, which way do I open it up? Top or bottom? There we go. 
Okay guys, there you go. Dark Saber looks pretty cool. Oh, look, you got the battery container here. Oh, I just, I'm looking at the, whoop. <laughs> this little uh, piece of tape and it's got your three different switches. It has your off, it looks like your try me, and then full on. Turn it all the way over to the right into the number two setting. And then that way you just go ahead and hit the button to ignite it. Or you press and hold it to get other different sounds. And then once you ignite it, Oh, that's cool. And then we just swing it. Okay, turned it off real quick by switching the button so I can tell you that now I'm gonna hold the button down and it just looks like it's gonna just be like electric, like electricity just constantly just zapping. I still like the original sabers are super cool though this one brings a lot of cool stuff to it this one to get it to zap you have to swing it and of course don't forget yoda's favorite the color green may the force be with you and adventure fun channel subscribe like you must or turn to the dark side and the other channel outside of adventure fun you will be defeat adventure fun win Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.